Forkfest.party, it's gonna be a party. From Freekeen.com, quote, WMUR and union leaders debate qualifications designed to exclude libertarians. Despite attaining major party ballot access in New Hampshire for the first time in 20 years, the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire has been unfairly excluded from the biggest debates, those hosted by WMURD-TV. How? According to the rules, the ABC affiliate announced last month in order to be invited to their debates, the candidates must be polling at over 12%. Guess what? There have been no polls that have included the Libertarian candidates. It's not like WMUR and their newspaper partner, the Union Leader, can use the excuse that without their rules there would be too many candidates on stage. There are three ballot-qualified candidates for governor in New Hampshire. There are three candidates each in the two house races. Oh yeah, and they want the candidate to have $25,000 in the bank, so only wealthy candidates may apply. Thankfully, many of NH's local media, like newspapers and radio, have been fair to the libertarian candidates, like the Keen Sentinel, whose editorial board recently interviewed Jaletta Jarvis. According to Jarvis, if she's invited to a debate, the other candidates will protest. She told me that North Country Community Radio recently invited all three gubernatorial candidates to debate. Incumbent Republican Chris Sununu responded and declined the station's in invitation. And Democrat Molly Kelly ignored their invite entirely. Instead of the planned debate, the station gave a two-hour interview to Jarvis and reminded their audience of the major candidate's conspicuous absence. Though Jarvis was told personally by WMUR's political director Adam Sexton that the Libertarian candidate for governor would be invited to the debate. News director Alicia McDevitt later told Jarvis that Sexton was not authorized to make that promise on behalf of WMUR. Sexton, by the way, has been fair to the Libertarians in his various coverage. Kudos to him for that. Jarvis is inviting her supporters to reach out to WMUR. Hopefully Ms. McDevitt will change her mind, do the right thing, and invite the Libertarians to debate the two-party duopoly, giving the people of New Hampshire an actual choice. Interestingly, Jarvis's campaign has raised more than any other LP candidate for governor since 1994, but she's still $16,000 short of WMUR's $25,000 campaign finance goal. Feel free to get in touch with me if you have questions or like to yada yada yada. The Ian Freeman, uh, writing for Freekeen dot com. Unquote. <clears throat> You've probably heard of Pork Fest, but have you heard of Fork Fest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit ForkFest.party. It's gonna be a party.